Eugene Rudovich Wamalwa is in the race, no doubt, and his ambition seems to have gone a notch higher after hosting Eldred North MP William Ruto and Deputy Prime Minister Uhuru Kenyatta in Bungoma recently. He had just ditched Ford Kenya and had earlier addressed public meetings under the banner of the Labour Party of Kenya with Maina Njenga and Dr. Julia Ojambo. You see, Eugene Omalua is like a beautiful girl who has just arrived in the village. And uh, there are all these boys around who are looking for a girl. Eugene Omalua is a, a political pawn that has been uh, created by PNU Central Province to try and scatter ODM and particularly Raila Odinga in Western Province. Western region, home to the second largest tribe in the country, is believed to be strategic for any serious presidential hopeful, not just for the non-local votes, but also the hidden Luya diaspora votes, especially in Rift Valley and Nairobi. Wamalwa's Saboti constituency is in Transoia County in Rift Valley, with the neighboring Kwanza and Cherengani constituencies having a sizable number of the Luya community. The Eugene has become a sensation largely because he is new and also he has a lot of potential but his youthfulness and his youthful look as well is partly what is making him uh, pretty attractive. He's got completely no political backbone, he's got completely no following in western province. Should the Hague process block Kenyatta and Ruto from the next elections, is Wamalwa the candidate they are going to endorse? There is going to be a candidate from central province on the ballot box, or, or rather on the ballot paper of the presidency. And uh, regardless of uh, who it is, he or she will enjoy the votes from that province. If Eugene is not going to run for president, he will be a running mate to somebody. And there are cultural factors at play, according to Muluka. One of the things that the Abaluhia people do not believe in is sharing a common platform with somebody who is perceived to be having blood dripping from their fingers. Even if that fellow is your brother, they will abandon you. He is celebrated across, but he's cosmopolitan. So the people of Central Kenya might say, why not? Uh, the people of Ukambani might say, he's a young man. He represents the future. According to Muluka, in Western, Wamalwa may command only the Bukusu vote. But still he is facing local challenges given that traditionally that vote has been galvanized through Ford Kenya, which is now in the hands of his nemesis, Sirisia MP Moses Wetangula. We shall do what in military they call strategic positioning where you defend territory to go and conquer territory. You don't lose territory to go and conquer territory. Every time you say that about Eugene Wamalwa, you are saying it about 30 million young Kenyans. It is also argued that the current factors will not remain constant, that it is too early to define Wamalwa's role in the Kibaki succession, and it will all depend on the new alliances that are likely to emerge. Eugene Wamalwa, meanwhile, has vowed to keep his eyes on the ball, counting on his youthfulness and the legacy of his late brother, Michael Wamalwa Kijana. Alex Chamwada, Sunday Live, Nairobi.